good morning students are you all fine okay let's continue with our programming in c i know online learning is rather tough than the direct face to face learning especially for learning a programming language but education will be more meaningful when we try to cope with the situations but i don't know how many of you have a system with you anyway try out try to work out the programs if you have a computer at your home uh, now now that uh, you have a basic idea about programming programming in c you know how to declare the variables constants the important keywords and the common syntax in using statements etc today our topic is operators and expressions in c c supports a rich set of operators most of the operators are familiar to you we we have already used some of these operators in our simple programs so what is an operator an operator is a symbol that tells the compiler to perform certain mathematical or logical manipulation when used with operands the operator specify the manipulation or computation that is to be performed with the operand c has a rich set of built in operators operators as we said are used in programs to manipulate data and the variables they they are usually used to form part of mathematical or logical expressions c operators are classified into a various number of categories they are arithmetic operators relational operators logical operators assignment operators increment and decrement operators conditional operators bitwise operators and special operators we shall see one by one and uh, we know what is an expression an expression is a sequence of operands and operators a sequence of operands and operators form an expression an expression can be reduced into a single value for example 10 plus 15 could be considered as an expression and its value could be reduced to 25 so it is a, an expression is a sequence of operands and operators okay first one uh, the first category of the operators is arithmetic operators all the basic arithmetic operators that you are familiar can be used in c programming also the list of operators are given in the uh, table addition subtraction multiplication division and the modulo operator you are familiar with all these things these can uh, these operators can operate only uh, on any built in data type built in data types that are allowed in c Uh, but uh, the unary minus operator or unary plus operator could be used with any single operand unary minus can be used to decrement a number or unary plus operand uh, operator can be used to uh, increment a number the all the other uh, arithmetic operations are used just like that we use in any arithmetic expressions and the last one modulo operator integer division integer uh, division uh, it truncates any uh, fractional part and modulo division operation produces the remainder of an integer division 
so if we get if we want uh, the remainder of any division operation we must make use of the modulo division the other division the commonly used division integer division truncates the fractional part so to get the remainder we must make use of the modulo division operation for example we may use a plus b a minus b these are all examples of arithmetic operators okay a divided by b a modulo division of b here a and b are variables and are known as the operands if we perform a plus b a and b are the variables whose value we will provide in the program so a and b are the variables and these variables are called operands okay and plus or minus or any other operators any other simple used with these variables are called the operators note that uh, the modular division operator could not be used on floating point data okay also c does not have an operator for exponentiation so these are the uh, basic arithmetic operators now integer arithmetic as the name indicates when both the operands in a single arithmetic expression such as a plus b are integers the expression is called an integer expression so when we when the both the operands in an arithmetic expression are integers the expression is called an integer expression so integer expression contains only the integer operands if a plus b is an arithmetic operation both a and b are uh, integer operands and the operation performed with this integer expression is called an integer arithmetic so integer arithmetic is an operation performed on an arithmetic uh, expression which contains only integer values and of course the integer arithmetic expression always yields an integer value the result of an integer arithmetic uh, will also always be an integer value for example as given here if uh, two variables a and b are two integers and a equal to 10 and b equal to 4 then a plus b gives 40 a minus b gives 6 a into b gives 40 a divided by b gives 2 and a and b when modulo division is performed on a and b it the result will be 2 okay these are all the uh, familiar arithmetic operations and these operators or operations are performed when these operations are performed on integers it is called the integer arithmetic when both the operands used in an arithmetic expression or integers the operation is said to be an integer arithmetic and integer arithmetic always result in an integer value next is the real arithmetic an arithmetic operation involving only real operands is called a real arithmetic when the operands involved in an arithmetic expression are real values we see the expression as a real expression and the operation is performed on the expression is called a real arithmetic it can a real uh, value or a real operand can be either a decimal value or a exponential value it can use an a decimal notation or an exponential notation and the floating point values are rounded to the number of significant digits permissible digits for example x equal to 6.0 divided by 7.0 the result will be 0.857143 so it is an arithmetic real arithmetic in, involving 
the real operands but note that the modulo division operator could not be used with real operands all the other operators can be used with real numbers except for modulo division operator next one is the mixed mode arithmetic when one of the operands in an expression is real and the other is an integer the expression is called the mixed mode arithmetic expression we have learnt that in an arithmetic of expression if both the operands in an arithmetic expression are integers it is said to be an integer arithmetic if both the operands in an arithmetic expression are real then the expression or the operation on that arithmetic expression is said to be a real arithmetic when any one of the operands in an arithmetic expression is a real one then the expression is called a mixed mode arithmetic expression when any one of the operands in an arithmetic expression is a real one it is said to be a mixed mode arithmetic expression and always the mixed mode arithmetic expression results with a real number for example 15 divided by 10.0 gives the result as 1.5 it is a real number so always in mixed mode arithmetic expressions in solving the mixed mode arithmetic expressions always the result will be a real number that's all with the arithmetic operators in the arithmetic operators we learn about the commonly used arithmetic operators addition subtraction multiplication division and the modulo division then the integer arithmetic that is the expression containing only the integer operands are called the integer arithmetic real arithmetic in that we see that the if the operands of an expression arithmetic expression are real then it is said to be a real arithmetic expression and all the operators except the modulo division operator could be used with real operands and the third one was the mixed mode arithmetic in that if any one of the operands in an arithmetic expression is a real one then the expression could be termed as a mixed mode arithmetic expression always the result of a mixed mode arithmetic expression will be a real one okay now the next one is the relational operators we know relational operators are used to compare two quantities depending upon their relation so we often need to compare two quantities and depending upon their relation we have to make some uh, certain decisions for example to compare the mark to compare the rank between two students two or more students or to compare the age of two persons or price of two items etc for comparing two or more things we make use of the relational operators so what are the basic relational operators that we use in our basic arithmetic expressions we know less than simple greater than simple equal to simple etc so in c also we make use of all these basic relational operators the set of operators are equal to note the simple used for equal to relation we use double equal to for comparing two values or two variables equal to for example 5 equal to 3 it will be evaluated to 0 that means it is not equal to 5 is not equal to 3 so when we use 5 equal to 3 it is evaluated to 0 then the gra greater than symbol you know 5 greater than 3 it is it will be evaluated to 1 less than simple 5 less than 3 will be evaluated to 0 that means it is not uh, a correct one 5 less than 3 is a false one so it will be evaluated to 0 and not equal to simple 5 not equal to 3 is evaluated to 1 because it is a not equal to value and greater than or equal to 5 greater than or equal to 3 is evaluated to 1 less than or equal to 5 less than or equal to 3 is evaluated to 0 so 
so uh, these are all the relational operators less than uh, sorry equal to greater than less than not equal to greater than or equal to less than or equal to these are all the relational operators a simple relational uh, expression contains only one relational operator if an expression contains only one relational operator it is uh, termed as a simple relational expression a e 1 relational operator a e 2 that means if we uh, use a relational operator to compare two operands to find either a uh, less than b or a greater than b it is termed as a simple relational uh, expression because it contains only one relational operator between in between two operands so these type of uh, expressions are called simple relational expression for example a e 1 relational operator a e 2 or a less than b it is a simple relational expression this a e 1 and a e 2 are the uh, arithmetic expressions which may be a simple constant variables or combination of them so for example 4.5 less than or equal to 10 it yields a true value 4.5 less than or equal to 10 it gives the result as true so these type of expressions are called the simple arithmetic expressions simple relational arithmetic expressions when arithmetic expressions are used on either side of a relational operator the arithmetic expressions will be evaluated first and then the results are compared so arithmetic operators have a higher priority precedence over the relational operators so when we use arithmetic expressions as well as a relational operator in an expression the arithmetic expressions will be uh, computed first evaluated first and then the result of the arithmetic expressions will be compared using the relational operator so always in an expression when evaluating an expression the arithmetic operators have higher precedence over the relational operators and we can also make use of the relational operator complements for the six relational operators each one forms a complement of the another operator greater than uh, simple greater than relational operator is a complement of less than or equal to less than is the complement of greater than or equal to or equal to is a complement of not equal to see in programming in c in the programming languages we use a single equal to sign for assigning values to a variable and for comparing or when we use the equal to for a uh, relational operator as a relational operator for comparing two values we make use of the double equal to sign single equal to will be used for assigning value to a variable okay then with the logical operators in addition to the relational operators programming in c c programming language also supports three logical operators logical and logical or logical not the logical operators and and or are used when we want to test more than one condition and make the decisions when we want to compare one or more more than one condition we make use of the logical and or or conditions and the value will be uh, depends upon the truth table for example a less than b and x equal to equal to 10 an expression of for of this type which combines two or more relational expressions is termed as a logical expression or compound relational expression of this type it includes an arithmetic calculation or whether it includes a relational operator and also it includes a logical operator a combination of logical operators and relational operators in an expression could be termed as a logical expression or a compound relational expression for example if c equal to 5 and d equal to 2 then the expression c equal to 5 and d less than 5 equal to 0 so always if two operands are used in a logical expression when operand 1 
and operand 2 are non zero values the result of and operation will be 1 and the result of or operation again will be 1 if any one of the operand is a non zero value and second operand is a zero value the and operation yields a zero value and or operation yields a one value if any one operand uh, is a zero and the other operand is a non zero value then the result of and operation will be a zero and or operation will be a one if the value of both the operands are zero the result of and operation and or operation will be a zero value so if both the operands are zero then the result of and operation and or operation will be a zero and if both the values the values of both the operands are one or a non zero value the result of and and or will be a non zero value that is one if any one of the operand the value of any one of the operand is a zero then the result of and operation will be a zero but the result of or operation will be a one assignment operators as we said earlier assignment operators are used to assign the result of an expression to a variable that means if you want to assign a value to a variable we make use of the assignment operator single equal to is always termed as an assignment operator and for relational operation that means if we want to compare the two values we make use of the relational operator equal to that is a double equal to uh, we use the assignment operator in many of our programs the syntax for using the assignment operator is v o p equal to x o p v o p equal to exponent a expression where v is a variable and expression is an e expression and o p is a binary arithmetic operator this can also be used uh, with a shorthand assignment operator for example v o p equal to expression is equal to v equal to v o p of expression that means in the simpler form for example x plus equal to y plus 1 is same as x equal to x plus 1 x equal to x plus y plus 1 can be written as x plus equal to y plus 1 so assignment operator is always used for assigning the value of any value or value to a variable or it can also be used to assign a value to an expression or to assign the value of an expression to a variable also the assignment operator could be used in the shorthand form also the shorthand assignment operator could be used in many expressions for example a equal to a plus 1 can be written in shorthand operator as a plus equal to 1 so a plus equal to 1 is same as a equal to a plus 1 also a minus equal to 1 is same as a equal to a minus 1 so a equal to a minus 1 could be written shortly as a minus equal to 1 so a minus equal to 1 is the shorthand assignment operator the use of uh, the shorthand assignment operators have several advantages that means what, what appears on the left hand side need not be repeated and therefore it becomes easier to write when we use the shorthand assignment operators the left hand left hand side of the expression need not be repeated so it becomes easier to write the statement is more concise and easier to read use of shorthand assignment operator provides easy reading and the statement is more efficient so these are all the advantages of using the shorthand assignment operators so let's see the shorthand assignment operators equal to can be used as a equal to b plus equal to that operator it is a shorthand assignment operator a plus equal to b is same as a equal to a plus b or a minus equal to b is same as a equal to a minus b in a similar way we can specify all the other operators also multiplication division modulo division also a into equal to b equal to a equal to a into b so these are all the 
shorthand assignment operators that can be used in a similar way like the other operators also but it provides a concise precise and it provides an easier way to write next is the increment and decrement operator two increment and uh, decrement operator that is plus plus and minus minus are used in c the increment and decrement operators in c are plus plus and the minus minus the operator plus plus adds one to the operand that means the number along which the plus plus operator is used that number will be incremented with one while minus minus is used to subtract one from the given number so for example uh, plus plus m or m plus plus both are same if the uh, unary operator you are used as a prefix or suffix with a variable the meaning is same we can use either plus plus m or uh, m plus plus for example if m is a variable with value 5 y equal to plus plus m or y equal to m plus plus both are same and we get the value of y as 6 that means plus plus or the increment operator plus plus is used to increment the value of a variable by 1 and the decrement operator minus minus is used to decrement the value of the variable with 1. There are certain rules for the increment and decrement operators. Increment and decrement operators are unary operators and they require variable as their operands. Always these increment and decrement operators should be used along with a variable. When postfix plus plus or minus minus increment or decrement operators are used with a variable in an expression, the expression is evaluated first using the original value of the variable and the variable is incremented by 1. When prefix increment or decrement notation is used with an ex expression, the variable is incremented first and then the uh, expression is evaluated. So when we use the postfix notation with a variable in an expression, the expression is evaluated and then the value will be incremented. When we use a prefix notation for increment or decrement operation, the variable, variable will be incremented first and then the expression will be evaluated. The uh, preference, uh, the pre precedence and associativity of both the increment and decrement operators are the same as when we use with the unary plus or unary minus operator. Then next one is the conditional operator. Conditional operator is a ternary operator uh, making use of a question mark and a colon. For example, or, uh, the general form is variable equal to expression 1 question mark expression 2 colon expression 3. Here the expression 1, expression 2, expression 3, these are all expressions, arithmetic expressions. The operator question mark colon works as exponent expression 1 is evaluated first. In this case, the conditional operator is also known as a ternary operator. It makes use of three expressions at a time and it makes use of a question mark and a colon. See how it works expression 1 will be evaluated first expression 1 will be evaluated first if it is a non zero value if expression 1 is evaluated to be true then the expression 2 is evaluated and becomes the value of the expression so at first expression 1 will be evaluated based upon the value of the expression 1 that that means if the value of expression 1 is true then the next expression expression 2 is evaluated and it becomes the value of the expression if expression 1 is false expression 3 is evaluated and its value becomes the value of the expression Okay, this is the use of the conditional operator. Uh, it can be used to compare three values or to find uh, the biggest of the three value. 
for example if a equal to 10 b equal to 15 we can find x equal to a greater than b question mark a colon b in this x will be assigned the value of b that means b is the greater one so first it evaluates the first expression expression 1 if expression 1 is true then expression 2 will be evaluated and it becomes the value of the expression in this case x equal to a greater than b a greater than b condition is false so value of b will be assigned to x this is the use of the conditional operator then bitwise operators bitwise operators or uh, special operators that is used for manipulation of data at bit level these operators can be used to uh, for testing the bits or to shift the bits right or shifting the bits to the left but these bitwise operators could not be applied with float or double data types it could be used with integer types but not for float or double data types the bitwise operators used in c or bitwise and bitwise or bitwise exclusive or other operators used for shift left and shift right characters next one is the special operators c make use of some uh, special operators such as comma operator, size of operator, pointer operators. So ampersand, it is also a special operator that is used to get the address of the variable. If you want to find the memory location uh, where the variable value of the variable is stored. To get the memory location of a particular variable, we make use of the ampersand symbol and star is the pointer operator this is used as a pointer to a variable pointer a for example pointer a where po uh, this pointer is a star is used as a pointer to the variable a both the pointer variable and the ampersand symbol are used to uh, access the memory location of certain variables we use a comma operator also comma operator can be used to link the uh, related expressions together let's see what is a size of operator the size of is a compile time operator and it, when used with an operand it returns the number of bytes the operand occupies so the size of operator is used to get the number of bytes the operand contains the operand can be any variable, any constant or a data type qualifier. For any operand of a variable or constant or any qualifier, it is used. The size of operator is used to return, used to get the size of the actual size. That is the number of bytes of the operand. It returns the number of size of the operand. For example, m equal to size of sum returns the size of the variable sum that means the actual number of bytes that the operate operand sum occupies is returned by using the size of operator so it is used to get the size of the actual size of an operand comma operator it is used to link the related expressions together that means it can be used to separate the data type or the variables of a similar type it can be used to separate the data of a similar type always as comma linked expressions are evaluated left to right and the value of the rightmost expression is the value of the combined expression so we use always may we make use of the comma operator to separate the values of similar type for example we make use of the comma operator in our programs as int a comma b that indicates that a and b are separate variables but of similar data type a int a comma b in that a and b are variables both of integer data type so we use a comma to separate in between the a and b 
another example is value equal to x equal to 10 comma y equal to 5 x plus y so first it assigns the value 10 to x the expression is always evaluated from left to right that is value of 10 is assigned to x then y uh, 5 is assigned to y and then finally x plus y that is 10 plus y will be assigned 15 to the value okay when we use a comma comma operator in our expression the value will be the expression will be always evaluated from left to right okay this is all about the arithmetic operators we shall continue with some example programs and arithmetic expressions on the next session